somewhere in a village in India right now. It's 6 p.m. The sun's gone down and it won't come back up for another 11 hours. The house, houses there have no electricity and this meager kerosene lamp is all they have. This is the reality of millions of people even today. Light is one of the privileges that we take for granted in our daily life. My name is Yogita Agrawal. I'm a product designer. I graduated from Parsons School of Design this May 2015. And during my time there, I took up the challenge to bring electricity to the communities living in the off-grid villages of Chhattisgarh, India. When I started, my first most obvious question was, why don't people simply install solar panels on the roofs of their houses? There's ample of sunlight, it's a free source of electricity, and why aren't they doing it? So I went down to the communities and I figured that people live in very simple mud houses. They hardly have doors on their houses, forget locks on their doors. And it's a hassle for them to protect and really like guard the solar panels on the roofs of the house while they're out and about all day long. So I started looking for other sources of energy. And it was then that I noticed that people have a very mobile lifestyle. They walk a lot, like adults walk to work, children walk to school, they walk for at least one to two hours every single day. It was then that I had this amazing idea. I went back to Parsons and I designed Joule. Now Joule derived from the Hindi word chul, uh, which means to swing, and the English word Joule, a unit of energy, is a wearable device that harnesses the swinging action of our limbs to generate electricity. So um, I made a prototype, I took it down to the people, and I was so excited. I thought I had the perfect solution to the problem. And I told them, you can just wear this device on yourself, just carry it around all day long, and when you get back home, you're going to have electricity to power lamps. And to my surprise, people just did not want to use it. And that was the moment I stepped back and I realized that product design doesn't exist in a vacuum. Product design isn't just about a fully functional product. It is about the human being involved. And a good solution isn't one that seems alien and imposed. Rather, it's one that harnesses human habits, that minimizes the disruption, and really seamlessly fits into the lifestyle of its users. And it was only when I understood this that Joule underwent multiple changes, and today it looks like this. Now, Joule now mirrors um, an ornament that women in India are very familiar with wearing, and it also has a customizable motif, which resembles a symbol of power that is known all over the country. And the good thing about the motif is that um, people can personalize it and use, like, it adds a sense of identity to the product. And while, while they wear this ornament um, that they think makes them look pretty, it also performs three main functions. As they wear it, um, they can walk around during the day and it charges up the battery within, within Joule. And at night, they can strap it onto their chest and use it as a guiding light to, um, on their way home to ensure road safety in the absence of street lights. When they get home, they can simply hook it onto a nail in the wall and use it as a task light to carry on different functions like studying and cooking food and keeping businesses open for longer. And really, it's the same device. It's just found so much more acceptance and usability by imparting a sense of ownership and belonging in the community. So this was something, a principle that I really kept with me. And currently, alongside Joule, I'm also working on a project with um, three other industrial designers. And this time, we're working on um, promoting better hygiene practices among children to reduce um, child mortality rates in all over the world. So here again, we notice that children may not like washing their hands with soap, but they love drawing on their hands. They'll draw on their hands with pens, with crayons, they just love it. So we thought, what if we made soap a part of the crayon? 
And that's how we came up with SOAPEN. Now, SOAPEN is um, a soap in the form of a crayon, and you can now draw on the child's hand. And children just love the idea of turning every trace of the drawing into soapy lather. And it was just so, it's just so fascinating to see how this, this simple act of playfulness is like promoting hand washing as a habit amongst young children. So I'm currently working on develop, uh, sorry, Sisopen actually won the Wearables for Good Challenge um, held by UNICEF Arm and Frog. And currently, we're, on, we're going through the accelerator program at UNICEF to make SOAPEN a reality. And as I work on developing Joule and SOAPEN, what I really want to do is design other products that harness human habits and add a little bit of fun and play to address the most basic needs and issues that people face in the world today. Thank you.